Hey, good, uh, good morning, everyone, or good evening, depending on where you're at, but it's definitely morning for me. Uh, I am back, and I am working on some stuff, getting things uh, situated to be uploaded. Uh, tonight, I got just a tad bit <clears throat> sidetracked. Um, I, somebody, one of the subscribers, had posted a comment um, wondering about doing user tagging and if there was a better way to do it. Uh, and so it kind of set me off on a path of writing a custom widget that would make the whole process of tagging users, um, or pretty much tagging anything, but specifically tagging users for like a social media app, a little bit more refined and uh, make a little bit more sense. Uh, if you've tried tackling doing uh, tags for users in Flutterflow, uh, you pretty quickly realize that you can't really integrate it directly into the text input box, um, that you have to kind of do some workarounds. There are ways to tag users uh, directly out of Flutterflow, which really aren't all that bad. Um, basically, you would just grab a list of users and select one or more of them and pass that user reference into your post document. Uh, and then you could have it set as a list field to reference tagged users. And from there, you could issue a push notification if you wanted to, um, and then have uh, a reference back to that post that the users could view. So that's all fine and dandy, um, but it doesn't exactly have that feel to it where you're you can tag a user just by typing uh, the at, at sign followed by the user's username into the text field uh, and then create the uh, the tag that way so that's what i'm working on currently and i've got a semi-operational widget that i will share the code you'll be able to find a link to the code in the description of this video um, as always i share the code on my discord discord server um, so if you want to find the code, you can find it there. Um, hopefully, I'll have some other ways to share it in the future. But for the time being, that's the place to find it. As it stands right now, you do need to have some level of comfort with editing code um, with its current version that it's in. Otherwise, um, you can wait until I have the streamlined version complete, in which case uh, you'll just be able to plug it in here set your parameters and then you'll be good to go uh, and possibly i'll try and put it on the Flutterflow marketplace but we'll see so anyway i just want to walk through the code real quick as to what we're doing here um so all this stuff is pretty standard up here obviously you have to have your width and height because that is required when you're doing a widget and again this is a custom widget not an action or a function but it is incorporating a function and technically in action. <laughs> it's, it's actually incorporating all of them, but it, I'm doing it as a, as a widget. Uh, so let's go down through here real quick. Um, so uh, let's see here. This little section right here, this is referencing the uh, uh, text field input. Um, so this is all built in here. I'm, I'm not using any of the fields or buttons or anything that are available through Flutterflow. All of it is built into this widget here, uh, which I'll show you in just a moment as to how it works and what it does. Um, but anyway, so this, this is basically just showing, uh, it's styling your um, text input field. So it, it is filled, its color is black. You can set that to whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> the label text is enter tagged users, and then the uh, hint text is just this example here. Um, and then hint style uh, would be white, and uh, border, I have the border uh, radius set to 16. So anyway, that's just styling for the text input. Um, the controller, which is the text input field, is the tagged users controller. Um, so let's go down here real quick. So uh, down here is, uh, this is the button, again, that, that's built into the widget. Uh, and when, it, when it's pressed, it creates a new document with the tagged users, which is just the name of the widget that I have here. Um, these fields right here 
I have set manually except for this one. This one is referencing the text input or the controller. Um, this field right here is referencing my collection. So I have a collection called posts. And then inside the posts collection, I have a field called user references and that's set to a uh, list field as a list of strings. It's not an actual reference to documents. It's just a reference to the strings that I'm gonna be inputting. Uh, and then this is the text on the actual button, save post. Okay, so if we go down here and then we have some, some little, uh, uh, geez, my, my mind is fried right now. I apologize. Um, you know what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. This tells you what we're doing here. Um, just little notes. Yeah, notes. Uh, so create a new document in the specified collection with a tagged user. So it's just letting you know what's what's going on here. Um, so it's got it's taken collection name, the input, and the list field name, which we're all put up here. So this is my collection name, my input, and my uh, field name there. Um, and what it's doing basically, so uh, again, I'm gonna show you on the, uh, in, in the test view so you can see exactly what's going on here. But basically what it's doing is it's, it's allowing me to type pretty much anything I want to into the text field. Um, I, can, I can type out an entire post. Uh, I could write how my day is going. And then I could tag a user with the at sign. And this expression here is looking for uh, any string of letters that follows an at sign, and it's, it's pulling that from the rest of the text. So if I have something like hello, comma, at John, space, this is going to look for that at sign, and it's going to pull the uh, characters that are directly following it. So it pulled John, that would be the at John. That'd be the tag for that user. And then once there's a space or a break between that tag and the next line of, of information, it'll no longer pull uh, the next line of information unless there's another tag user in there. Um, so you can actually tag as many people as you want to and it'll add them as tagged users into the post document as well as the notification documents. Um, in the notification documents, I'm actually working on a uh, custom cloud function as well that's going to listen to those documents for new documents to be created and then issue push notifications based on those documents. Um, I could run the push notifications all from within here, but I'd rather do it through a cloud function and kind of keep that on the back end. Um, so as to not clutter up this widget here and that way not, not so much as running, um, right, right from this widget it's kind of happening, um, 50, 50 on the front end and, uh, 50 on the back end. So, um, but anyway, still working on the, the push notification side of it right now. I'm just trying to get the widget done. Uh, so anyway, so that, that's what that's doing. It's, it's, it's basically looking for, um, any user that is being um, designated by the at sign. <clears throat> okay, and then, uh, so down here, it's basically saying that's gonna create a new document within my specified collection name. My collection name again is posts uh, right there. And it's grabbing that and throwing it in there. Um, let's see, where am I at? And then uh, that list field that I talked about, that's a list of strings. It's going to take the user's list and that user's list is everybody that was tagged. So any, any tagged user with the at sign in the text in, uh, input field, it's going to take that user list and it's going to put it into my list field name, which again is user references. I'll, I'll show you my collection so you can see how that's set up, of course. Um, and then I also have a field inside that uh, collection, inside that document called content. And that's going to put the entire string of text from the input field into that content. So we're going to have two separate fields. One is going to be for the tagged users. And then this one will put the entire um, input field 
into this box so that you can obviously display your post. <clears throat> All right. Uh, and then this, um, this indicator right here is basically telling the text input field to clear all the text from that field. So once you tap the save post button, the field will clear itself and delete all the, the text that's within it, within it. And then this uh, um, action down through here, basically what it's doing is after it creates the post document, um, it's going to look through the users list in that post document and uh, the, the tagged users list field. It's gonna loop through that and find all of the tagged users. And then it's going to create a notification document in my notifications collection. It'll create a notification document for each tagged user. And it'll set the post ID field to the post ID reference of the post that was just created. So there'll be a reference to that post in this notification document. And then it'll also set in the tagged user field, which, which is just a string field, to the user's username. Um, so anyway, that, that's the basic run done. It's actually really short code and it's really pretty easy to understand. And it'll make a lot more sense once I get over here and start showing you what it's doing. So first thing, let's go over here to my collections. And here's the posts collection that I'm working with here. So there's the content field. And again, it's just a string. Uh, you can ignore this field. Don't need that right now. And there's my user references field, which is a list of strings. Um, so again, it's not, it's not referencing user reference tags to user documents. It's just referencing the, uh, the word that that's included in the tag. And that's what I'm doing for, for now. Um, and then down here, I've got my notifications uh, collection. And again, once the post document is created, that action flow, uh, that function that down at the bottom of the, uh, the widget runs a loop through that post, through the post document. It runs a loop through the user references, finds all the users that are tagged, and it creates a notification document for each uh, tagged user sets the post reference to the post that was created and then it sets the uh, i'm sorry it actually sets it under post id i can get rid of that i believe um, but it sets it under post id and then tagged user it'll set the user's username here in the string field all right so let's go ahead and take a look at how this actually works um, i do need to launch a new uh, session here so I'm going to pause the video until that loads up and then we'll take a look at it on the user interface side. Okay, so now that has loaded up here, um, let me pull over my manager real quick here. Okay, so here's my posts um, collection and my notifications collection. So you can see they're empty right now. All right, so let me drag this over here. And I kind of want to actually do it like this. See if I can shrink that down some here. Okay. So there is my custom widget then. So you've got some styling in there. When I tap in there, it actually reveals the, uh, the hint text. So everything kind of pops up. I need to do some styling with the, uh, with the label, but I didn't, I didn't actually apply any styling at that point. All right, so what I want to do then is I want to type in a post. So all right, so I've written some content. Now I want to tag somebody. So I would do an at sign. And I could tag another person. Okay, so I've written this out. So my uh, wid my custom widget with the uh, function in there is going to look at this text here and it's gonna pull my tagged users out. It's gonna put this entire um, string of text into the content field of the post document. It's going to 
uh, create a um, entry into the list field of tagged users in the post document. And it's also going to create a notification document for each tagged user. So let's go ahead and click Save Post. And as you can see over here, it created that post. It cleared my field, so my text is gone now. So I can get rid of that. And over here, you can see it created my post document. And let's edit it so you can see that it put my entire text field, uh, all of the content from that text field into my content um, field here in this document. And then my uh, user references, my tagged users, you can see that it put them in here, John, Jane, and Joe. It removes the at sign and it just puts their names in here for easy referencing. Okay. So I created my post document, did that as expected. So let's go over here to notifications. And you can see that it created three notification documents, one for Jane, Joe, and John. And it put my post reference. So we can go over here and we can look at our post ID. And we'll just look at the last four, KGKE. And you can see that it put, it referenced that post, KGKE, in each of them. So now we've got a call back to that post so that we could redirect these users through a push notification or something similar um, to, uh, to that post. And so I would, I'd probably use this collection, a notifications collection for an in-app notification, maybe like a, um, a toast message or something like that, or just a little notification icon. And then I'd have my cloud function push notification listening for these documents. And then it push a notification to each of these users and let them know that a post was made uh, where they were tagged. And then it would uh, uh, allow them to go to that post and view it. So that's what I've got going on with this. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's working out pretty well. Um, like I said, it still needs to be refined. There's stuff that I need to do to it um, to make it just 100% user friendly and, and be able to integrate well with everybody's apps. Um, but the general concept is there. And so as noted, the uh, code as it stands currently is available uh, in a link in the description of this video to the Discord channel. Feel free to join the Discord if you'd like to. Uh, send me a message if you want to connect. Um, if you plan to use the code as is, just remember that it's not completely refined and you would need to have some idea of editing the code to be able to um, set it to work with your collections and the way that you have things set up. Otherwise, I will have the um, complete finished code ready before too terribly long, and then you'll just be able to plug, plug and play, basically. All right, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and again, just uh, look for that link in the description if you want to check out the code in your own project. All right, take care.